Hello, Joe here from Infinity of Tacoma. Today, I'm gonna to tell you about this awesome 2020 Tesla Model Y that we have for sale. This is the long range version. Uh, they did have a standard range, they're pretty rare. Uh, the standard range Model Y is rear wheel drive and has a range fully charged about 250, 260 miles, where every long range uh, Model Y is gonna be dual motors. So it has a motor in the front and the motor in the back which makes it all-wheel drives, also makes it pretty quick, zero to 60, right around the five second range, top speed 135 miles an hour. Very, very fast by car standards, but the Model Y is a crossover SUV. It's actually a crossover version of the Model 3, with a very popular battery electric sedan. Uh, it shares a lot of similarities uh, with the Model 3, the interior is very similar. You could almost imagine yourself being uh, in a Model 3 on stilts just because sitting in the sitting in this thing, uh, you know, the seats, the whole interior is basically uh, almost identical to the 3, except you're just a little bit higher up off the ground, so you have a better visibility, which people like. The Model Y is about 20% larger than the Model 3, and of course, you have more headroom, a lot more headroom than the Model 3, and then you have a rear lift back. Uh, and the ability to fold down the seats. You have a lot more cargo space in the three. The Model Y is actually so popular now, it's gonna probably end up selling uh, the Model 3 in some markets are, it already is, uh, for very good reason. Uh, crossover SUVs are actually more popular these days in coupes and sedans. Uh, in our world, uh, people like the, uh, the versatility of uh, crossovers. You have better visibility. Generally, they're all-wheel drive, and then you have more interior space and that rear cargo area, so. Everyone loves crossovers, so the Model Y, of course, is going to be popular because it's a battery electric vehicle, it's an awesome crossover, and it's also very efficient. I think the Model Y is probably the one of the best battery electric vehicles on the road, and on top of that, I think it's one of the best vehicles on the road, period. I've been in the car business for over 20 years. Uh, I've driven lots of cars. We work in the high-end uh, automotive portion of the business, so I get to drive lots of fancy cars. And I've been blown away by Teslas. My job is to use car managers to buy cars. I like Teslas. They sell well. You know, right now we have 13 used Teslas in stock. We pretty much have every model. Um, and they're just getting more and more popular. And uh, gas prices, they were already popular before gas was expensive. But now if gas prices, five, getting close to six dollars a gallon, it's supercharging interest in EVs. And we're seeing a change in the trends of people. A lot of the buyers, that, you know, a couple of years ago, those types of buyers that we'd see to come in our store looking at, you know, pre-owned luxury SUVs like Porsche Cayennes, SQ5s, uh, BMWs. Now a lot of these people are coming in to look at Teslas and Volkswagen ID.4s and Mustang Mach-E's, which I guess is good for Volkswagen and Ford because, you know, they're attracting buyers who normally would buy, you know, luxury SUVs from BMW and Mercedes. Now those people are considering EVs. So almost everyone has to have an EV now um, to you know, be on an automotive radar because that's what's happening. Uh, if, you know, and there's different reasons for people buying EVs. Some people are kind of techy, nerdy people. Some people want to be trendy and want to you know, be in the latest. And it's just kind of like you know, the iPhone. When the iPhone came out, you know, if, you, <laughs> if you wanted to you know, be trendy, you weren't going to be caught you know, using a flip phone. As soon as the iPhones, you know, started getting established, if you had a flip phone, and that's kind of like what I see happening almost with the, you know, gas cars. Now, you know, the the it cars are battery electric vehicles. They are the most high tech, most efficient vehicles out right now. And a lot of new car buyers are now considering EVs. I think 25% of new car buyers now are considering EVs. And obviously that's happening with used car buyers. So let's talk more about this Model Y. It can be long-winded. This one has 35,782 miles. It's a local one owner clean Carfax vehicle. We have autopilot. Autopilot is basically traffic or where uh, cruise control, so it can brake and accelerate within its own lane and it can move with the flow of traffic. Uh, it's level two autonomy, which means you have to pay attention to keep your hand in the wheel and be ready to intervene. But I can tell you, it really acceleration right now. See it stop and it's handling the steering. And I'm just sitting back and I'm in supervising mode. I'm just sitting here relaxing, keeping my hand in the wheel, paying attention, ready to intervene in case something happens. You know, 99% of the time it works fine. Sometimes something weird might happen with a car or traffic, a weird situation that might confuse a car. You just gotta be there to intervene. But I can tell you, <laughs> it makes a big difference. Like yesterday, 
I had to do a lot of road trips yesterday. I had to go to the... Please, a whole layer of stress off of you when you're in stop and go traffic or on the highway with the autopilot because you're in supervisor mode. The car's doing the work for you. You're just sitting there paying attention, enjoying your music, ready to intervene. And I'm telling you, I've driven so many Teslas with the autopilot. If Luckily, I don't have a long commute, 10 minutes back roads, but if I was, you know, an hour and stop and go traffic, I would have to have a Tesla of autopilot <laughs> after experiencing it. Whenever I have to run errands for the store, yesterday I was in a car for five hours. I was in a Model Y, just like this one, not this particular one. And uh, I took that one because I had to go to Renton and then I had to go to Bremerton. I was able to supercharge it. So that's the ace in the hole of, uh, you know, battery electric vehicles, especially with Tesla's, is the DC fast charging. Tesla has a 30,000 superchargers, the majority of them in the United States. Uh, we have two uh, superchargers within, you know, six miles of us. You know, you can go in and you can get a full charge in about a half hour. And you don't even have to wait the whole time. One time, you know, I went in there uh, with 20 miles on a Model 3. I had to use the bathroom. I went to the grocery store across the street. I uh, came back. You know, the car was at 20 miles. By the time I went to the bathroom and came back, it was already at 100 miles. So, and then you can set up charging at your house with... Uh, you know, level two, char well, uh, you know, two, 240 charging your house, a Tesla wall charger, you can add 30 or 40 miles of range uh, per hour. So you, your house is a gas station. You plug it in when you get home, the next day you have a full charge. And even on the uh, the wall outlets, uh, it's not as efficient as the, uh, you know, the, the wall chargers, but just the, you know, Wigger 110 outlet, you can get five miles in an hour of charging. So if you don't drive a lot, just off a regular 110 outlet, you can add 70, 80 miles of range uh, overnight when you come home from work so your house is like the gas station all right let's keep it rolling i could talk for hours about these tesla's they're just so different so uh, i guess if you want to hear me talk for hours about them you can watch more of our videos on our youtube page i have a bunch of them or you can come to the dealership and talk to me and i'll happily talk to you for hours about these cars <laughs> all right uh with a completely flat floor uh battery pack no transmission tunnels, no drive shafts. It allows for lots of uh, space in the interior, even though this is a compact crossover. Doesn't feel too compact the inside. I'm six foot two. I have a ton of space back here. Legroom, plenty of legroom, plenty of headroom. You have this huge glass roof panel too to allow lots of natural light. And again, it gives the car a bigger feeling. It also is very, very well um, uh, covered with UV protecting technology. So a lot of the heat, I think 70, 80% of the UV light does not pass through into the interior. So it does a good job cutting down on the heat. And of course you have an amazing climate control system when you need to use it. Got a little extra space in here. Normally there'd be a gas tank here, but this is an EV. So no gas tank, more storage for you. And look at that nice car cover. You can fold down the seats. You have a power lift gate. This also has a camp mode. So with camp mode, allows the vehicle uh, you to use a climate control system watch uh, movies without having to run the vehicle uh, so you can camp overnight actually in one circumstance there was uh, over their winter there's a really bad traffic jam and people got stuck in the snow people were actually stuck overnight on the highway this is in the east coast and you know people were saying oh you know all these evs if that happens uh, the road's gonna be flooded with evs that are dead but the fact of the matter is there's a few people in EVs, there's a few people in Teslas, and they were actually nervous. There's some people that are like at 20% range, and they had to, you know, be overnight in their vehicles. But the thing is, since the Tesla is not having to idle its engine, you know, think about how inefficient it is to be idling a big, you know, V8 or V6 engine just for heat, uh, you know, where the Tesla, uh, even though these Teslas and EVs that were waiting, you know, stuck in the snow, uh, you know, even though they're at 20%, all that energy was just put towards heating the vehicle. It wasn't idling an engine or anything like that. So all those people, even though they're cutting it close, they did uh, survive and make it to the EV chargers. They didn't get stranded. In fact, I think in one example, someone actually ran out of gas in their gas car and they were welcomed into the uh, Tesla to, to stay warm, believe it or not. All right, so we have dual motors, Excellent all-wheel drive. This has the upgraded 20-inch uh, induction wheels. These are about a $1,500 option when brand new. Really kind of makes it a little bit more aggressive looking. Really cool looks and lines. You have a very low center of gravity for amazing handling and acceleration. And it's one of the safest crossover SUVs on the road. 
because of the way the batteries is so low and the vehicle has an extremely low center of gravity so that makes it like handle like it's on rails up oh, let's pause that it makes it handle like it's on rails uh, but it also makes it one of the lowest rollover risks out of any cross server SUV that you can buy because of the weight of the batteries is so low uh, you know this thing is very very hard to roll over and even if it does roll over the weight of the batteries will just flop it right back on those wheels it's almost like a keel on a sailboat or one of those punching dolls you know you try to get it down but it just wants to get right back on its feet if you're looking for one of the best uh, SUV crossover SUVs on the road one of the safest one of the best performing one of the most efficient look no further than this beautiful Tesla Model Y